Hello everyone, welcome to today's session. The topic for today is navigation bar. We have seen every website which we visit has a navigation bar on the top. The meaning of navigation bar is the categories which we have on the top to choose from. It allows us to change the pages from one page to another. We can revert so let's look at the code for this uh, this is how the code is written we are going to experiment this on sublime let's go to the sublime this is more about the practical part that is why there is no such theory for this topic because here you create the navigation which is to implement and see how the navigation bars are created in html so in this you are going to use html along with css in which you are going to use a little bit of new topics let's start so in the body tag what we are going to do first is we are going to put the div class div class in the div class we are creating the top navigation so i'm going to give the name top nav we are going to give the heading as a top navigation now we have to create links uh, we create links inside div class can be anything you can change this name i have written top nav because it's easier for me to understand that this class is for top navigation now next is a i am going to write anchor a is for anchor because i have to put link here a class in class i am going to write active now href now in href what you can do is this is the active class which will be active all the time we will be on this tag this link always so it is here you are going to put the link of your web page if you don't have web page consider i don't have any web page for now i am just writing this hash and the word so it gives me a kind of link and here i am going to write the word what name should be displayed so it is active means it is always active we want to start with this one and then again the next category which we will give is news in href what we will write sorry this is href written i forgot to write hash here let me write hash okay ahref hash news then i'm just going to give the word news and close my anchor tag now we are going to write for the contact in hash i am going to write the word contact let's write contact because we want contact to get we, we want contact to get displayed now we want about section so we write a h r e f equal to about I'll write about and I'll run it. So let me save till here and show you how it works on the Google Chrome. So you can see four links are there. It is visible as a link. This is your active link always. We can click on this and navigate. But now we have created the link. Now we have to do the proper formatting of it. Proper formatting. So let's start doing the formatting part now. I'll close my div tag okay now we are going to put the some content here i am going to write div style we have learned about the box model which has padding so i am going to give pa left padding so now i am giving the properties which i feel i needed for my program you can change according to your website requirement i am going to give the top navigation i am writing the content and in paragraph i'm writing some content i'm going to close the div tag let me save this much we have done two div tags till now so this is your links this is your information now you can see this is possible using html we can give the categories using html but the styling part is done using css only let's start styling the page whatever navigation style you get that is possible using css now i'll write body so in this i'm going to give font family you 
we can give anything whatever we want i'll write aerial also here okay and i'm gonna give margin i don't want consider i'll give zero now this is my class i want to style this four links so i'm going to write dot top navigation i'll write overflow hidden i'll execute and show you the meaning of this i'll give a uh, consider black let me save let me execute can you see the black color is there yes the background is coming in the black we have added the overflow hidden to control the this links it should fit in this that is why i have taken overflow so now let's do the next styling part we have styled this navigation bar now let's style the link using anchor tags link is inside anchor so i'm going to style that i'll give float so which side i want it to float i'll write left so color consider back black is the background i'll give white i want the text to be in the center so i'm going to give text align center now padding i'll take consider 15 pixel 16 pixel text decoration we don't want to do any decoration and font size i'll keep font size 20 because it's very smaller now you can add more things if you want in the styling part we can see how the bar is visible right i'll move forward by making this uh, navigation bar more interesting by using hovering we have done the hovering part so i'll come to this dot top navigation a colon hover that when i hover over the anchor tag whenever i hover over the link then what should happen so i'll change the background color to consider pink and the text color was white so we will change it to black i'll execute it see when i hover over it when hovering means taking your mouse over it so when we take our mouse over it you can see the color is changing yes now we will change for the active link this is the active link so we write dot top navigation a dot active background color let me give green and color as white i'll run and show you you can see the active one is in green color so this is going to be default for which you are going to start with this is your home page this is going to be your active link which will come first on your screen so what we do in navigation we simply add the links and then we style it using css you are basically styling your links with the help of css hope it is clear thank you so much